partial fractions, non-repeated linear factors at the denominator. Resolve each of the following into partial fractions. So we have the first problem, the second problem, and the third problem. So what we do is to start with the first problem. Starting with the first problem, the method of resolving this, since the denominator contains linear factors that are now repeated, so we said this is equal to a over the first factor as x minus 3 plus b over the second factor. So we need to find the values of a and b here. So to find the values of a and b, we make the right hand side again as single fraction. So the LCM remains x minus 3x plus 4. So x minus 3x plus 4 divided by x minus 3 gives x plus 4. Multiply by a, that will give us a into x plus 4. Then plus x minus 3x plus 4 divided by x plus 4 gives x minus 3. So multiply by b, b into x minus 3. So we look at the left hand side and the right hand side. Since they contain the same denominators, now we look at the left hand side and the right hand side. So since the denominators are the same, so the numerators are also equivalent. So what we do now is x plus 11 is equivalent to the numerator here. So it's equal to equivalent to the numerator. Now what we do now is by inspection, we check what value of x will go in to eliminate either a or b. So we start with eliminating b. If you choose x to be equal to 3, that will be 3 minus 3 and the whole of this will be 0. So let's put x is equal to 3. So 3 plus 11 gives 14. So 3 plus 4 gives 7 times a gives 7a. Since 3 minus 3 is 0, multiply by b will still give us 0. So we can ignore that. So dividing both sides by 7, a is equal to 2. Now we have gotten a to be equal to 2. So we go ahead. In a similar way, we can now look for value of x that when substituted, we eliminate a. So we put x is equal to negative 4. Negative 4 plus 4 gives 0. So put x is equal to negative 4. So negative 4 plus 11 gives 7. So the left hand side here is 7. Negative 4 here gives 0 multiplied by a, which still gives us 0. And here, negative 4 minus 3 gives negative 7. So I have negative 7b. So b is equal to negative 1. Now we go ahead to substitute the values of a and b here so that the fraction becomes a over x minus 3 and our a is 2 so 2 over x minus 3 since b is negative so it will change this to negative changes this plus to negative so it becomes minus 1 since b is negative 1 over x plus 4. So we have resolved the fraction into partial fractions. So we go to the second part of the problem. If you look at the denominator, it looks quadratic. It looks quadratic. But this is difference of two squares. As 4 is a perfect square and x squared is a perfect square and here this is minus, so it is difference of two squares. So this is the same thing as 2x minus 3 
over x plus 2, x minus 2. That's the factorization of difference of two squares. So from here now, we can see now that the denominator contains linear factors that are not repeated. So we go ahead again, we said a over the first factor, x plus 2, plus b over the second factor, x minus 2. Then we make this a single fraction again, the left hand side. So the denominator still remains x plus 2, x minus 2. So the denominator still remains x plus 2, x minus 2 x plus 2 x minus 2 divide by x plus 2 gives x minus 2 so multiply by a we have a into x minus 2 again x plus 2 x minus 2 divide by x minus 2 removes the x minus 2 we are left with x plus 2 multiplying by b so that we have b into x plus 2 so again, the numerator, since the denominators are equal, since the denominators are equal, the numerators are equal. So x plus, therefore 2x minus 3 is equivalent to a into x minus 2 plus b into x plus 2. Now we go again by inspection substituting a value that will eliminate either a or b so if you put x is negative 2 here the whole of this becomes 0 so we'll be left with a so put x is equal to negative 2 negative 2 times 2 gives negative 4 negative 4 minus 3 gives negative 7 so this is negative 2 minus 2 now will give us negative 4 multiply by a to give us negative 4a since negative 2 plus 2 will give us 0 which will eliminate b so to get a now we are going to have 7 over 4 since the minus here cancels the minus dividing both sides by 4 a will be 7 over 4 now we go for what to be substituted to eliminate a this time around. So if we put x is equal to 2, the whole of this will be 0. I will get there. So put x is equal to 2. 2 times 2 gives 4 minus 3 gives uh, 1. So I have 1 is equal to, this is gone. 2 plus 2 give us 4b so b is equal to 1 over 4 if you divide both sides by 4 so that would be 1 over 4 now the partial fraction will be split into substituting the value of a and b a is 7 over 4 so we are going to have 7 over 4 into x plus 2 7 over 4 is there then plus uh, b is 1 over 4 so it's going to be 1 over 4 into x minus 2 which brings the solution of b problem to a conclusion so we go to the last part of the problem we are going to consider the denominator even though it is a quadratic expression what we need to do is we are going to factorize if it is factorizable then get two linear factors at the denominator here 2x squared times 6 gives 12x squared what are the factors of 12x squared that will give sum of 7x um, we have a 3 and 4 3 and 4 so since it is 3 and 4 divide 3 and 4 by 2 I can have it as uh, 
x plus x plus 2 and 2x plus 3. We factorize the denominator, that's what we have. Now, this is the same thing as a over x plus 2 plus b over 2x plus 3. So, we make this a single fraction. So, the LCM is x plus 2, x plus 3. x plus 2, x plus 3 divided by x plus 2 will be left with 2x plus 3 multiplied by a a into 2x plus 3 plus the denominator here divided by this we remove 2x plus 3 we'll be left with a plus 2 so we multiply by b into x plus 2 so since the denominators are equal the numerators are also equal so we have x squared minus 6x plus 1 is equivalent to a into 2x plus 3 plus b into x plus 2. Now again, as usual, we eliminate b by substituting a value of x that will make what we have inside the bracket here 0. We put x is equal to negative 2. Negative 2 squared is 4 negative 6 times negative 2 is 12 plus 4 16 plus 1 17 and uh, this is gone 2 times negative 2 gives negative 4 plus 3 gives negative 1 negative 1 times a gives negative a so taking this to the other side so a is equal to negative 17 so we so we go ahead to calculate the value of b so since we already have uh, the value of a i don't want to substitute negative 3 over 2 here and to run away from fraction so what we do is substitute since i've already gotten a put x to be equal to 0 so if I put x equal to 0 this is 0, 0 this will give us 1 now put this to be 0 I have 3, 3 times a gives 3a put this to be 0, 2 times b gives I gives 2b so plus 2b so from here since a is negative 17 so we multiply negative 17 by 3 that gives negative 51 so I have 1 is equal to negative 51 plus 2b so taking this to this side b becomes uh, 52 dividing both sides by 2 we have b to be equal to 26 so we've gotten our values of a and b so we now substitute into the expression we have here so that the fraction becomes negative 17 over x plus 2 plus 26 over 2x plus 3 this can be rearranged by bringing this positive first so we now have it as 26 over x plus 3 then minus since this negative 17 is, is at the numerator so we can give it or multiply it by the plus which gives minus 17 over x plus 2 so we have split this in the partial fractions thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoy it bye for now